It's time to talk about the grid guides and snapping, three new features that are coming to Krita 3. These can be used either alone or in conjunction with one another. They are great in synergy. And I want to show you before we jump onto the grid what we are going to use these for as game artists because these are pretty essential to us. First of all, let me activate the grid. I just get a reference grid in here and I'm going to check that my snap is active so that I can snap my guides directly onto the grid. So what I'm going to do is to create some reference lines to then place elements on my canvas more accurately. Let me create a guide in here. The grid is 48 pixels wide, which means that the guide we just snapped to a grid line is exactly 48 pixels away from the top of the screen. I have a mock-up for a video game in here, a game for tablets and desktop in that case. I'm going to add a new layer in a group called user interface and I haven't done the UI yet, but what I would like to do is to create some placeholder shapes that will represent the UI and tell me where the UI will need to be on the screen and how much space it will take. What you can do in Krita is add a vector layer and you can then draw vector shapes using the regular drawing tools you actually know, the rectangle and all of the geometric drawing tools. I'm going to lock the guides so that I don't accidentally move it and I'm going to draw a bar in here. And it is snapping to the grid, although the grid is invisible right now. And this is going to allow me to create some kind of placeholder for the life bar. I use the vector selection tool to select my shape and I'm going to round the corners a little bit like that. I'm starting to think maybe I'd like a life bar for the enemy in here. Let's say it's an RPG game. I can place the life bar along the same line so it's aligned with my previous bar in here. That's what the guides grid and snapping are for. They allow you to accurately place elements on the screen. So right now, the current feature set brings some foundational tools for that in Krita. It's going to be improved in the future, allowing for more flexibility. The feature set isn't complete per se right now. The developers are still working on it but I want to show you what we can already do with those tools and I will make new videos in the future in case the tools get major updates.